gang and I air it out. We slime and I bang it up. We banging no wind up. It's red and we pour it up. My diamonds they glowing up. She wet and she wanna fuck. Be patient, I'm counting up. Alright, what is up guys? Michael with every stuff back here once again. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a pair of Yeezy Desert Rat or Yeezy 500s in the Super Moon Yellow colorway. These are from Kicks Nuts. Um, I decided to go ahead and order a second pair of shoes from them. You guys saw my off-white blazer review. If you haven't already, go check that out. It's also from them as well. But if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't. But if you're a current subscriber and you've been with me for a while, you probably have. And the quality was pretty solid on that. So I decided to order myself a second pair of shoes from them. And they came out really, really good. Um, but before I get into everything, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. Drop a like on the video and last but not least, remember to turn on the notifications for the channel so you get my reviews when I drop them and all of them so you don't miss out on uh, on the reviews themselves. So um, with all that being said though, if you don't already follow my Instagram, it will be in the description below. It's IRV Stuff TV. Follow it to stay updated if anything ever happens to the channel. You'll be the first to know on that. And I also post polls, sneak peeks, all that stuff. You can always uh, DM me and ask me questions on there as well. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good spot to be. So follow that. It is in the description below. It's at our review stuff TV. So anyways, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. This is the information for the website, guys. So there's a website. It's kicksnuts.cn. The Skype is kicksnuts.cn. And then the email is at service at kicksnuts.cn. There's the WhatsApp right there. And then the Instagram, which they're very active on, is um, kicksnuts.cn. So, at kicksnuts.cn, obviously. Um, but yeah, so, just put that, put that to the side real quick. Um, put the shoes to the side. Let's just look at the box. So, you got the 500 on top. Um, this is the updated box. I didn't expect this because the pictures on the site are actually of the old box. But I said, let me grab a pair anyways because I've been wanting some 500s for a while. So you can see the uh, 500 on the top. Shipping was about a week. It did come double boxed. Um, well, it didn't come double boxed, but it uh, came double wrapped. So it came wrapped in like a normal bag, but also had bubble wrap on it, which explains the pretty good um, condition of the box itself. There's, you know, a little ding right here and a little bend like here and here, but overall the box isn't crushed at all. So really, really good on their part um, for shipping. Uh, great quality right there, great customer service. And they're really, really responsive on their WhatsApp. So if you purchase anything from them, they'll always help you out on the WhatsApp. Um, oh yeah, of course, turning over to your side, this is the updated 500 box. So it doesn't have boost anywhere because they aren't a boost shoe. On this side, you just got the Yeezy 500 made by Adidas. <clears throat> and then the Adidas logo right there. On the bottom, you just got Adidas and then their logo. And then of course, you do have the sizing information right here so 11 and a half easy 500 of course it doesn't say boost which it shouldn't say because they aren't a boost shoe and then uh, I ordered a size 12 and they gave me 11.5 which actually fit pretty much good for me I usually wear either 12 or 13 um, these without the insoles fit good but I think if I broke them in even with the insoles it'd be good um, but I left the insole inside the shoe even though I wore them already once out today to test them out in super super comfortable shoes so i highly recommend them i kind of wish i got the blush colorway because that's that's more easy to wear and match with stuff but regardless i mean it's not really a hard to match shoe it's kind of just yellowish like tan yellow but um there's the colorway so sumoi i don't really know what that means but i i checked online and that's actually what the colorway is it's not super moon yellow or anything um Oh, I get what it says Sumoy now. I'm stupid, man. I didn't even realize that. But so SU is for super, MO is for moon, and then YE is for yellow. So there's the colorway right there. And then we got the product code and EPC inside, which it didn't actually have an EPC, but that's not really a big deal. It's just an EPC. And then, of course, you have the Easy 500 made by Adidas. Um, besides that, it doesn't say Kanye anywhere, it's just surprising. Um, I guess it kind of took the Kanye branding off. I didn't really pay attention. But, uh, yeah. So, there's the box. I know I'm going heavy into detail, but I do want to get all this covered to show you guys 
what you're going to be getting if you do order from Kixnuts, which I actually do recommend. They're a really solid site. So, of course, you do get the paper that's in the shoes. You get two of those, obviously. This is the only tag you get. Ignore my thumb. I know I've been picking at it again all day, man. I'm such a bad habit. My girlfriend always tries to get me stuff. Um, but, yeah, so there's the, like, all language tag glossy um and then of course there's just this paper regular easy paper which is actually good pretty accurate um good color texture all that stuff so everything in terms of the box is pretty one-to-one -one, i'd say so let's just throw that to the side and take a look at these shoes right here right here boys um so yeah i don't know which shoe we should go look at first but let's just look at the left i guess so here is a solid look at them um pretty controversial shoe some people were with them some people were against them but as you guys know uh if you follow like yeezy mafia on instagram they recently like kanye did a campaign for the super moon yellows with a bunch of people um two of them being porn stars that modeled them which is pretty weird but if you look at those pictures search it up uh, just search up super moon yellow yeezy campaign you should be able to find it um one of the points says a her name i think it's like danielle something had like her ass all the way arched up and looked like she was getting ready to get fucked wearing these shoes trying to promote them so really uh unique marketing campaign to say the least for kanye um but it's definitely working i got people talking about them so hey i think they're a pretty solid shoe um but i mean i'm not gonna ramble anymore here's the bottom quickly just want to get that out because i did wear them just to a date with my girl today went out for breakfast with them decided hey i should test them out and uh yeah so there's the bottom of the shoe they weren't too too dirty really um there are layers to the sole which i'll get to in a second but the overall quality of the shoe is insane like there's a bunch of different materials leathers just had to change the fan turn it on real quick uh because it's getting hot in this room but there's a bunch of different materials you got the mesh right here some leather this is like some yellowish um kind of like this is like pretty much solid like sm smooth leather it's kind of buttery feeling too really really um good quality and then you do have this like really hairy suede and on the outside of each of these parts um they are kind of where the laces get held at on like the outside rimming of them there are more of that like shiny ish leather so then you got like a mud guard right here so there's a bunch of different materials and then this is just like a pure and on like these it's like a pure like hairy hairy suede really great quality and super super comfortable so that's why i'm not stressed about these shoes being a size and a half down because the materials of these shoes are pretty much made to stretch so i know um they're gonna stretch even with them being completely comfortable on feet but you know yeah so there's a good look at the outside. Um, stitching and what craftsmanship is honestly amazing on this pair. You got the Adidas on the front, kind of dirty. Um, so this front of this uh, logo will get dirty with wear. But yeah, there's the inside, medial side of the shoe. You see, leather is actually, you can tell like it's even bubbling, like it's really good quality. Um, that shows that it's flexible. It's high quality leather because it's not stiff, so. There's some more Adidas branding right there. On the back of the shoe, you got a bunch of suede, leather, and then mesh. The inside of the shoe, size tag right there. Made in China, size 11 and a half. Adidas. Um, the insole, you can see the insole. I'm gonna just take out one of the insoles. Let's take out the one on the left shoe. So it's an Ortholite insole. It says Ortholite, a registered trademark. Then Yeezy Adidas, all that looks good. I printed on there really, really good and straight. Um, then here's the bottom of it. You can see, the, this is like the only real complaint that I found on the shoe, they're not really aligned because the red's supposed to be like in this area and you can see it's not really aligned, so. All right guys, as I was <laughs> saying before my phone ran out of space, um, with Kicks Nuts, if you want QC picks, you can always ask for them. Usually before sending uh, your shoes, She'll message you on WhatsApp if you communicate through that, which I recommend. And she'll send you some QC pics. So 
Um, you can never be afraid to ask for QC picks, uh, especially if you're worried about something being wrong with the shoes or whatever. You can always ask for QC picks, and if there is something wrong, they'll gladly take it back to the factory and get a new pair for you before sending them out. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how much more there is to cover really about these shoes. They are pretty uh, simple. I mean, it is a one tone pair of shoes. They're not boost or anything. Um, although to be honest, if especially if these are exactly your size, um, mine are a little bit tight right now as they are new and uh, they are a size and a half down from what I usually wear. Um, or like half a size because I usually wear either 12 or 13. Um, if they are your size, they are really, really comfortable. Tons of padding all over. You can see the mesh is just all over the shoe. And it's like really, really plush, plush, plush mesh. You see just the quality is insane on these shoes. So, um, yeah, like pretty much just a really, really solid pair of shoes. And they are pretty easy to couple with like anything. They look really good with, uh, for example, I wore them with just a black pair of Amiri's today. I usually don't really wear joggers, but if you do, if you are kind of that guy that wears joggers, um, especially if you have like socks, you can like tuck your joggers into or, or whatever, or if they're cuffed at the bottom, something like that, th that look really, really good does it with these shoes. Um, I'm not that type of guy. So when I wear these, I'll be wearing them with most likely jeans. Um, but if you see Kanye wearing a pair of 500s, they're usually with joggers, same with 700s. They're kind of like that kind of look. Um, you got the Adaprene logo right there. I think I went over it. I don't know because my phone died. So, or not, it didn't die, but it ran out of space. So I had to take care of that real quick. But the midsole is really dope on here. You can see that this is kind of like a really squishy foam right here on this section. And then the outside is kind of like hard, hard rubber where like these waves are. And you can see a separation. It kind of like separates right here. But this is foam. This is rubber kind of on the outside. And then this is like the same like rubberish material, but it is a separate part as well. Um, this one's kind of more just for support, but it is really, really hard on this part, which adds a lot of support. And of course you do have like the mud card right here, which if you've seen the Yeezy 500 boots, they are uh, similar to these, but they are like high cut and they're a little bit different. Search them up, they don't have the same sole. And uh, yeah, but there is a good look at the Yeezy 500s, man, the uh, Desert Rats. As they were called in the beginning and then they changed the name to just easy 500 super moon yellow and then there is blush and then i believe there is another colorway releasing next month called the uh, utility black let me know if you guys want me to review those but um yeah i'm, I'm actually a fan um of these yeezys they're definitely a yeezy that i um really enjoy right now besides the 700s as well i fuck with those heavy um but i'm over the 350s honestly I think I'm gonna have a, a one more 350 review. A site asked me to, um, a site actually asked me for once to send a free pair, and I said yeah, and then I picked the Oreo, so I, I should have a pair of Oreo 350 V2s coming in. But these I actually did purchase with my own funds, so let me know what you guys think about these. You can see the back too, there's a good look at that. Um, and yeah, overall, really, really dope quality. I'm really happy with these, and they are on point, so. Really no complaints, great shipping, always great customer service from my two pairs that I did order from uh, Kicksnuts so far. And you can see even the laces. You can see this piece, how the laces are intertwined in them. Suede, stitching's on point everywhere. It's just a really solid shoe, man. Great craftsmanship on these too. So um, why pay like 300, 400 for these? I don't know what they're going for right now. I believe that's a price range when you can just get them for low and have the exact same quality. So you can even see the, the inside of, from where, me wearing them in sock, sock liner or a sock lint, sorry. Um, build up there a little bit for my black socks. But uh, yeah, which is, <laughs> I wore Nike socks with these. I know, sue me, sue me, man. Uh, mixing brands here and there, but fuck it. I don't really have like, you know, I don't wear shorts. So really the socks doesn't matter for me as long as I do the job, but I don't really wear like no name brand socks, which is kind of stupid because all socks are the same more or less. But I usually rock with some Nike socks. But anyways, guys, I'm going to throw them on. Stop rambling. Uh, show you guys what they actually look like on my feet. And then that will be the end of the video. So let's get to that. All right, guys. So this is how they look on me. As you can see, I'm just wearing them with my uh, Amiri jeans. I reviewed these in a, a couple videos ago. So if you want to see that review, check it out. It will be in my channel. Um, but you can see how they look. You can see my calves and all that. But in my opinion, they are a really dope looking pair of shoes. They're really unique, though. So, I mean, you got to kind of... You know be careful what you wear them with if you don't want them to look too too chunky on you 
I mean, it's all part of like the dad dad shoe trend, I guess. But they are really, really dope in my opinion. And yeah, they look clean. I like them. I fuck with them. Definitely. So, again, if you're that type of guy that wears joggers, especially they look good with, then I recommend getting these shoes for yourself. You can see my water bottle, my garbage. Got some hot Cheetos grilling up in there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man. So, again, Kicks Nuts. Uh, this is my second review of them. I'm happy with uh, the products. Good quality, great shipping, amazing customer service. So, if you guys do want to order from them, don't hesitate. I believe they take... Uh, they might take credit card but maybe not they might only take like western union which is safe that's that's what i paid with so i don't that's why i don't know if they take credit card but western union man it's safe you guys don't have to be afraid of getting scammed if i review something obviously it's safe i got my product so at the end of the day you know it's safe like if you get scammed like i will talk to them since i'm per like i purchased stuff from them before and i have contact with them so um, but there is no getting scammed kicks nuts definitely legit got the easy 500 super moon yellow let me know what you guys think about these shoes look forward to more videos keeping this shit consistent for you guys dropping video after video after video so show some love um, always like seeing likes on the videos and stuff like that when you guys actually support shit and fuck with the channel I appreciate all of you guys so if you're new to the channel subscribe drop a like if you're current or new um and last but not least remember to turn on the notifications for the channel and i think i pretty much covered everything man um again like i said look forward to more videos always dropping shit um i still have to review a prada bag from h for hype as well as a palm angels windbreaker so yeah yeah man yeah yeah so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed um and yeah, follow me on Instagram. We'll be in the description below at TV. With all that being said, hopefully you guys have one, uh, one wonderful day. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day and I'll check you guys in my next video. Peace.